Morning, my name is Charlotte. Welcome to my stretch and tone class this morning. Well, it's morning at the moment or whenever you're joining in. If you've got any injuries, if you've got any health conditions, check with your doctor to make sure that uh, this kind of exercise class is suitable for you. And also, if you do begin to feel unwell, become in any pain, join the class, stop and get medical advice ASAP. Make sure you have some room. Is my camera a bit wonky? It looks good, doesn't it? Just make sure you've got enough room. Uh, make sure you've got a mat too. You're wearing some suitable clothing. You don't need shoes for this class, but if you do want to wear them, then you can wear them. I'm cold. I've got a coat on in here. I don't want to take it off yet. I've just took my old boots off. <laughs> right, just a little bit of mobility and stretch. To stretch, yeah, a bit of mobility work before we start doing any stretches. All right, so I'm going to take my coat off. <laughs> Stand with your feet hip width apart, let's get moving. Music's already on. All right, so just stand feet about hip width apart, come into squat, tuck your head in, tuck your pelvis under, and roll up slowly, heads coming up last. And then just give your shoulders a roll back and upright. Let's do that again. So hands to thighs, hands above the knee, belly button drawing in, roll it up, and give it a roll back. Loosen the shoulders, loosen the neck. Let's do that again. So a little roll down, belly button in, roll up and roll back the shoulders. Who's doing this with me? Anybody? <laughs> to the roll. All right, so just two more of these, rolled out. Just warming up through the spine and through the shoulders. One more time, roll down. To so come roll back to standing. All right, just hold your hands as if you're holding a tray. Now open through the arms. Chest and shoulders, I want you to turn out your left. All right, back to centre close. Tuck the elbows in, open. Now turn to your right. Get your hips forwards, centre and close. All right, so let's open, twist to your left. Centre, close, open. Turn to your right. Back to centre, close. Open, turn left, centre, we've got one more, twist to your right, centre, alright, raise the arms above the head, tuck your pelvis under, then side to side, come up through the centre, and then the other side, ribs are moving towards the hips, back into centre, flexing down. Big stretch, lift the ribs, then lower the left side. Lift the ribs, and then lower your right side. So we're not leaning forwards or backwards, it's just laterally over to the side. All right, let's take one more to the right. Centre hold, bring your palms together, and then just bend to your left and hold. Just release that left arm down. Relax and just give the arm a circle. All right, then the opposite way. All right, raise that left hand. Let's bend to the right side. Hold, hold to start with. Lower your right arm. Relax it and just circle that around. And then the opposite way. And let's raise that right hand. All right, release those arms down, float down. All right, inhale, lift your heels, and then float down to the sides. Spread your toes out. So you could do a single heel if you're struggling to lift both at the moment. Exhale, float down. Inhale, float upwards, and then exhale, float down. Inhale up, and then exhale, float down. Right, two more. Calf raise, squeeze the calf. Float the arms down one more time. Right, let's get the rest of the legs moving. Raise your arms, shoulder level. Sit down into chair squat, keep your knees apart. All right, let's lift the crown of the head forwards and take your arms behind you. So lift your triceps, so we're in flight position. All right, inhale, reach, exhale, float down, shoulder level, sit into chair, chest up, ribs away from the thighs. All right, just lift the crown of the head forwards, lift your triceps, 
fly position. Take your ribs off your thigh, lift up, and then float down. Shoulder level, sit into chair. Crown the head away, lift your triceps. Lift up and float down. Right, one more time. Chair squat. Crown the head away, lengthen the neck, lift the triceps. Lift up. All right, and then float that down. Right, I'm going to take a step back. Let's roll down and then we're going out into plank. All right, let's just take this roll down, hands and thighs, just for the moment, just making it a little bit easier. All right, so just walk out with your hands. You can go onto your knees if you want to. I'm going to full plank, shoulders above the wrists. And then when you're ready, you can go back into child if you want to, have a stretch. But I'm walking back with my hands and bringing that up. All right, a little more dynamic, inhale. Exhale, I'm rolling down. You can put your hands on your legs if you want to. Belly button to spine, bend at the knee if your legs tighten. All right, so when you're ready, walk to that plank. Shoulders over the wrists. Go onto your knees if you want to. You can even go onto your forearms. All right, so when you're ready, walk that back. So you can come on your knees if you want. Onto the feet. So come roll back to standing, rebuild the spine. Inhale, exhale, roll down. And we walk into that plank. Shoulders over the wrists, hips are level, legs are strong. All right, when you're ready, walk that back. Roll back into standing. Head's coming up last. Roll it down. We're going to take two more. So another option would be you could just go back to child and go out into plank without standing up if you don't want to keep getting up and down. Walking that back. Alright, last one. Roll it down. Let's come out into plank and hold. Shoulders over the wrist. Stay in plank position. If you need to lower your knees, lift the crown of the head away. Keep the length in the neck. Don't let the head sink down between the arms. feet together back into child, press through the hands not the wrists, spread your fingers out, press through the palms, press through the fingers, right just start to draw your hands in towards your knees, Bring your head up last, rolling up, into that seated position. Right, let's turn over onto our bottom, take your legs out in front. Let's roll back, roll down. So still working the core, working the spine. Take a breath in and then exhale, bend forwards. Right, from here start to roll back. Roll back nice and slowly, control that movement. Belly button scooping in towards the spine. It's a big stretch, arms above the head, raise your arms, about shoulder level, peel away. So if you're struggling to come through the centre, maybe you need to come through the side, or maybe you could just lift to halfway. Just see what you can do. But aim for that full roll up. Just take a moment, have a stretch, and then just roll that back. Just take as long as you need on any of the exercises. Stretch out whenever you feel the need to. And again, it's about shoulder level, peel the spine away from the floor. Into that seated. And a nice big stretch. Right, let's make this the last one. We're going back into seated position. Right, 
Right, take that forward fold. You can hold your ankles, hold your feet. And just relax into that stretch. Just have a few seconds here. Feel that right down your hamstrings. In the spine. Relax. All right, let's come back into seated position. Sit up nice and tall. All right, let's take the hands either side. So we're going to turn into a side plank position. And then lower that down. So you could make it easier, you could bend your knees. And just maybe even just have a teeny tiny lift off the floor. Yeah. Or you could just keep rolling side to side. If you can't lift up, maybe you could just lift your core, lift your rib cage. So you're still working those side abdominals. Or straighten out those legs. Make sure you flex your feet, turn the feet. No floppy feet, so we've got a strong ankle. And that's moving up through the knee and up through the hip, up through the core and the shoulder too. So all those joints, obviously the spine, push up to the sides. So just move nice and slowly. to centre, sit up tall, find your sitting bones, hip bones forwards, all right, place your fingertips to the sides, the pads of your fingers on the floor, lower your left ear down, now lower your right ear down. that back to centre. Keep your left leg in front, bring your right heel towards your bottom. Alright, so the shin is forwards and I'd like you to turn to your right side. Alright, from here we're going to do some small press ups. Now if you want to make this more challenging you're going to sing a long press. So that will be your left arm. So that's your left leg, left arm doing the press ups, just working the tricep. Just move your hand around till it feels right for you. It's a little bit of multiple position to get into. All right, let's do two more. All right, one more time. All right, let's take advantage of being in this position. Let's do a glute stretch. All right, so just bring your shoulders above your hips and flex forwards. Now, if you're struggling to get to the floor, that's fine. You can stack your hands up, get a cushion to rest your head on. So really feel that in your glutes now. So I'm feeling that in my left glutes, left side of my foot.
Right, last two. All right, last one. All right, swing your shoulders so they're above your hips, and then take that forwards into that glute stretch. onto hands and knees. So we're going into neutral spine. It's a nice flat back position. Let's just take a few cat and cow stretches here. So breathe in, look forward, stick your bottom in the air, and then exhale, draw your belly one in. Tuck that into a cat stretch. And again, so we inhale into cow, and then exhale into cat. Let's get into neutral position. So flat back position. Right, I'm going to turn forwards. We're going into spine balance. I want you to raise your left arm and your right leg and hold it. Lift and lengthen and just hold. Now keeping your head still, keeping your body still, I want you to move that left arm out and your right leg in the opposite direction. Move it out. So it's like kind of to the corners, but you're still in the centre. Hold. So feel that on the glute, it's on the shoulder, in the core. All right, now bring it back to centre, hold it. Stay still in the centre. Let's do that again, same thing. So move the left to the left and the right to the right. Keep your head in the centre. All right, back to centre. Hold it. All right, let's change sides. Right arm, left leg, lift and lengthen. So just think of lifting them equally. So your thumbs in line with shoulder, heels in line with your hip. Right, let's open. Right to the right, left to the left. All right, center. Hold. So when you slow things down, it doesn't make it easier, it makes it harder. All right, keep still, let's move. The arms and the leg, hold, hold, hold. All right, bring it in, hold it. All right, release that down. Right, from here, just drop back into child for a moment. Knees apart, feet together, foreheads coming down. Place your hands round towards your feet. If you want to increase that stretch, right under your shoulder blades, Keep your hands down and lift your bottom. Keep your hands on the floor. Just feel that stretch underneath the shoulders. Hold that there for a moment. Right, let's go plank down into a back extension. So either come to your hands and knees or your hands and feet. So if you are on your knees, keep your hips forwards. Alright, so from plank. We're going to lower that down. So if you need to, lower that to your knees. Place your hands on your shoulders, tuck your toes under. We're just going to swan in first. Keeping the hips on the floor, release that down. Come up into plank. Toes on knees, onto your forearms if you need to. Hold, hold, hold. Keep your legs strong. Right, let's lower that down. Hands on the shoulders. Hips are down when you're ready. Perhaps if you want to, lift your elbows off the floor. All right, take that down. So it just depends how flexible you are through the spine. Toes under, push into plank, push away from the floor. Don't let that head sink between the arms. Let's take that down. Hands above the shoulders. Press into the floor, left. 
keep the glutes relaxed. Alright, take that down and lift. Alright, lower that down. When you're ready, left. Right, come down to the floor, we're staying there. Just bring your hands forward, forehead down. Lift the crown of the head away just for a moment. Right, back extension with a twist to really work that lower back. So just that area there, that puffy top area around here. <laughs> Not that you've got one. <laughs> right, so when you're ready, lift away. So keep your hands on the floor at the side of the head. Let's lift. And we're going to twist to the side. Back to centre and then down. Keep your hips on the floor. Belly button in left. Twist to the side. Centre. Come down. When you're ready, left. Twist. Centre. Down. Left. Twist. Centre. Down. Left. Twist. Centre, down. We've got three more. Left, twist, centre, down. That's two. Alright, just one more. Alright, bring your hands in, rest your forehead down. Right, I feel like we need to do something with the legs. We'll do one more exercise here and then we'll flip it over. Right, so lift your heels towards your bottom. Take your hands behind your back. If you can, interlock your fingers. Let your elbows come down. If that's not possible, to join your hands, just reach your hands down by your sides. All right, so from here, legs about hip width, no more. Straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Lift them all down. So we're lifting with the front and the back of the legs. Holding. All right, release that off. Right, this time then, if you can, hold the ankles. Let's go into boat position. If you're struggling, go one leg at a time. So, if you are doing one leg at a time, change now. Oh, 
All right, back to your start position. Right now, extend one leg even further. Both arms, circle the arms in. So extend both arms, one leg, stretch it out, bring it in. And again, lower back doesn't move. Now, if you are struggling with your lower back, when you straighten your leg, keep the leg higher. Or maybe not straighten it out as much. But I'm gonna go for it, let's just almost touch the floor, almost, with the legs. Sweep it in. Shoulders, 
Keep the head supported if you want to. Maybe you could just reach down with one hand. Five. And release that back down. So if you are doing the single arm variation, make sure you keep alternating that single arm. Don't get with the neck gap between chin and chest. Hold of your right leg, straighten out your left. Take your right thigh, take it across to the floor if you can reach. Stretch back with your right arm. Hold of the left leg, straighten the right leg, knees in. Just take that left thigh across, drop that left arm back over the chest, over the shoulder.
Rest your hands behind your back, sit yourself up. Right, come on to hands and knees. Alright, neutral spine, raise your left arm. Open the chest, shoulder. Left hand behind your back. Roll the shoulder back into the ceiling. Raise that left hand, right, let's slide that through. Alright, so just press at the back of the arm, take your cheek towards the floor. You can keep your hips higher or try and get a little lower down into that child pose.